In this tutorial, we're going to go through how to create a Google form with the new forms. Uh, and, and the topic will be um, back to school, collecting parent contact information. So the first thing you want to do is go to your drive, click on new, and slide down to more, and then slide over to Google Forms. New Google Forms has a little purple icon, so you can always tell up in your toolbar that you're working in forms because of the purple icon. It still has the um, bullet points with the lines to identify that it's the form, that it's not the responses. So our first step will be to name our form. I'm going to call this one, um, I, I make this form every year, through contacts, and I put the year to make sure that I um, am differentiating between them. All right, so I'm ready for my first question. All you have to do is click on it on Untitled Question, and you can start to type your question right there. Um, student first name and instead of multiple choice I'm going to click on that and I can select short answer. From here I want to definitely make it a required question. Now to save time I'm going to click on this little button down here it says duplicate and instead of first name I'm going to put um, last name and again I keep it a required question it's short answer you can see how that saves a lot of time. I will do the same thing uh, because this time I'm going to put parent, here we go, parent, and you don't put it in parentheses just in case we don't have, just one parent wants to put, fill out this information, parent name, short answer required. All right, my last, uh, I'm going to do, let, maybe I might do a phone contact number, and again, short answer, um, required and the last one I usually put is um, email address make it and spell there we go and I'm gonna make this again short answer this time though I want to show you another little trick I do make it required but I click on these three dots for data validation and just in case people are putting in the wrong I want to make sure it's the correct email address so instead of number I want it to be text and it contains an email address so that if they type it incorrectly an error message will pop up that I can customize so I might put there we go. and that will pop up if they didn't um, put the at gmail.com or so they left something out all right so I'm finished with um, the form looks good. I want to set up the responses now. So I'm going to click on responses and if I click on this green icon it's going to create a spreadsheet for this and I can title it right here so that in my drive I will be able to find it. And again I want to put the year so that I'm all set um, and I can click create and now it's going to open up my spreadsheet. And when it first opens up, you'll notice that it is locked. I can keep it that way or share it with a partner teacher uh, so that we can both have access to this. Otherwise, I want to leave it private. Um, let's go back and finish setting up our form, though. Um, back into the form. You know, if you go to the gear, there's a few things you can do on this uh, in the settings. And I want to go through those. So click on settings. And I want to be sure not to restrict it to Pleasanton Unified uh, District users. That means they would need uh, Pleasanton, um, you know, your school district's uh, email in order to fill out the form. And I don't want that to happen. Um, I also don't want to limit because then they'll have to sign in as well. All right, so let's go to uh, presentation. And in this situation, um, I'm going to leave this checked. Show link to submit another response because I'm going to be setting up Chromebooks in the back of my classroom with the form already on it. And when they finish the form and click Submit, a message will pop up. And I wanted to say, click the link to restart the form um, so that I don't have to keep putting in the URL to this form. Um, when they go through it, uh, they'll know how to submit another um, uh, response as parents come into the room. So that was saved. You want to change the look of your form you can click the palette there's some uh, I click on the images or a color there and there's so many to select from uh, to go through on the side here but I'm just going to go ahead and go with this colorful yarn and 
let's see what my questions look like. Your last step is to send and make sure you have the correct one open. So I usually like to come through here and click on link. This gives me a link. Now, I can't email it to people, uh, but I could do um, you know, a shortened URL uh, in this format. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, copy it, and I'm going to paste it into a new tab uh, so I can see what the form looks like. And in this situation, then you can use a, a personalized URL shortener like bit.ly or um, goo.gl and customize this so that um, you can put it on a board at Back to School Night. People could do it. Uh, you can make a QR code. They could do it right on their phones or if you have Chromebooks in the room. Uh, it's kind of a very handy way to collect the correct um, email address so you're not typing all of these in. The next video will show you how to export these and put them into a Gmail group.